Hello and welcome to A Song for the Shadows. This is episode four. I am Theo Thorson, your game master for the evening. We are joined by the whole crew today, our regular cast members. How are y'all doing tonight? Great. Doing great. Let's go around the, the horn here. We have Alex first, uh, right in my box next to me. How are you doing, Alex? <laughs> I'm good. I'm tired. End of the year is happening for these kiddos and they are just having a great time. End of the year, special education. <laughs> and we had thunderstorms in town all day today. Oh, yeah. Ugh, disgusting. So I know it's kind of rough, but you're almost home. How many more weeks do you have or days? Not that you're counting. Uh, seven. Seven. You almost <laughs> seven got more it. Seven more days. Seven more days. <laughs> Hang in there, and then we can have a big old party when we're done. Oh, so we'll be done. Uh, our finale is next week. Yeah. And so we can celebrate on. That'll be your last day of school. It's on Monday? No, it's a oh, seven Wednesday. school days. Seven You're counting school, school days. days. Seven gotcha. school days. Gotcha. Gotcha. Yeah. Well, we'll still have a party next week. I'm fine with that. <laughs> Jeremy, how are you doing tonight? This Jeremy. morning for you. This morning for you. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a bit sleepy. I'm a bit cranky, but I'm doing oh. okay. What'd you do last night? <laughs> uh, I had a I had a good night last night, and uh, I'm here. Okay. <laughs> uh, okay. Well, uh, thank you for joining us today. Get yourself some coffee. Wake yourself up, yeah. slap yourself upside the mm. cheeks a couple of times. That's yeah, what I, I do. Yeah, I made a few face slaps. Yeah, that always works. <laughs> RG, how are you tonight? Pretty good. Um, the Houston weather's gross, driving in the rain. Yes, you had to drive um, all the way over here tonight. Thanks You're... for the food and the yeah. margarita. Yeah, I had you guys had Mexican food again? Vietnamese no. today. Vietnamese food. Ooh, we're multicultural. Yeah, Vietnamese we're food and margarita. We like to circle Ooh, the globe. Was it Kim Son? Like, rotating. Ooh, Kim Son. I haven't been there in forever. Oh, they're That's not sponsoring us tonight. Movies. They get nothing from us. <laughs> ah, RG, what are you bringing next week, you were saying? Oh, Filipino food. Yes. Yum. Mm, some Filipino food. Nice. Yeah, I'm going to ride it. I'm going to go drop by Godo's in the Med Center. Can we just make this whole show about food today? Tonight's episode brought to you by <laughs> Godo's. <laughs> on the Medical Center for all your Filipino food needs. Listen, I can take the camera into the kitchen and we'll just do, you know, it's just, Mexican it's a cooking we can, show. Oh, kitchen, yeah, we can just do you tuned in. You tuned in no. for D&D, &D, but now it's a cooking show. <laughs> no, we're going to do a mukbang. We can do oh, a no. Mexican, yeah. <laughs> Mexican food day sounds good to me. Nestor, how are you tonight? Thai food over here. I am great. How are you doing, Theo? I'm doing fantastic. You got some family in town. Are you yes. enjoying that? You're having a good time with your family? Well, you know, the best part of it is that I get to eat a lot of my uh, home uh, food. Uh, yes. So I, exactly, like we're still talking about food, so I'll keep it in yes. topic. Yes. <laughs> so uh, uh, my mother today, she just cooked uh, this traditional soup that we have in Panama, it's called uh, Sancocho. And I have oh. had, I haven't had that in like four years. And oh, you know, like the oh first sip, you're just like, oh my gosh, this just tastes like home. And uh, that's like so great. good. Yeah. And uh, oh there's like, <laughs> there's like 10 more servings in the fridge. So I'm like, I'm going to have oh. a great week with that. I am going to request oh. a small frozen <laughs> one of those. Cause I Actually, I can probably make forever. it happen. Maybe. Yeah. Oh my God. What's in it? Let's so think of, think of, ah, what's up? What's in it? Um, so it's it's kind of like a chicken soup, but it's very thick, and the thickness comes from a root that is called otoe and nyame, and it's it's just we couldn't find that anywhere in Houston. Uh, but then I took her to this. Uh, um, it was a very small um, uh, Mexican store, and okay. we found it there, and she was wow. like so happy, and I was even happier about it. So <laughs> that's it was so good. Well, let me uh, see who's in chat tonight. If you're in chat, go ahead and say hello. I see my buddy Glenn in there. It's good to see you, Glenn. Glenn, Glenn is in my Patreon D and D game. We're playing Storm King's Thunder, um, and over on the Gallant Goblin, we're gonna have a, a video about Storm King's Thunder coming up that Glenn is not allowed to watch. I'm gonna be giving Ooh. my tips on running Storm King's Thunder. Alex, you're not allowed to watch either. You are also in a Storm King's Thunder campaign I'm that not. I'm running, so don't I'm watch not. that. Um, so who else is over there in chat? Hey there, we got a. Uh, a Regain? I'm not sure who that are. Oh, a Regain. Pronouncing... That's Thomas. <laughs> oh, that's Thomas. Hey, Thomas. Yes, Thomas. It's a, it's a hard to pronounce uh, Twitch uh, username sometimes for me, but I'll do my best. Uh, hey, Thomas. Effort. Thank you for joining Is us tonight. Like I appreciate Aragorn, that. But gay? I think so, probably. <laughs> <laughs> Let me go through my announcements uh, real fast. So, what's the difference? 
we always have a couple announcements at the top of the show. Uh, first, I always want to thank uh, the folks behind the scenes. We have DC on the ones and twos tonight. DC is going to be joining us in our after party later tonight. I want to thank Ashley for organizing everything. Diana for all her fantastic graphic design that you see on the overlay, that you see in our ads on Twitter and Facebook and Instagram. Grady always for a lot of the art, the story, and so much more behind the scenes. Satine for making all this possible, and I'm sure I'm forgetting folks. Um, and also, this is the last time I'm going to see you before the Kickstarter for Sirens Battle of the Bards ends. Uh, it ends on Saturday, which is the team's birthday. So be sure you go check it out today at thebardbook.com. We are smashing through stretch goals. Last I checked, we are up to, I think, $220,000 stretch goal, which is, is it 200, yeah, $220,000, which is amazing. Uh, the next stretch goal is a custom side quest by the amazing Fenway Jones. If you don't know Fenway, she is a very young. She's like, I don't know how old she is now, 17, 18, 19. Uh, she's a mental health advocate and the creator of Jasper's Aww. Game Day, uh, which has raised a ton of money oh, for suicide prevention. Oh, that's such a prevention. cool thing. Yeah, yeah, she is awesome. Um, and she is a, a prolific GM too. Uh, I love her to death. The Gallant Goblin is a partner of hers in Jasper's Game Day. Go see what they're all about at jaspersgameday.com and to see how you can get involved. And go back to Kickstarter so we can get a custom side quest for Sirens Battle of the Bards from her. Uh, also, if you play online, the, the Kickstarter is not just for the book. You can also get it on your favorite virtual tabletop of choice, whether that's Roll20 or Fantasy Grounds or Foundry or Shard. And I'd love to hear down in the Twitch chat which of those you guys like. I know a lot. there's a lot of uh, push behind Foundry these days, and I haven't tried Foundry or Shard, so I'd be curious to hear what you all think of those. Yeah, okay. we've been trying Foundry a little bit. That's been, that's been fun. Is it? Is it good? Mm-hmm. I'm trying to glance over there at chat which i actually have open today you'll be proud of me it's a good thing i have two monitors to get all this stuff going um yeah I'll also don't miss on i believe it's wednesday mystery of melody by margaret crone that's here on gilding light at 7 p.m pacific time they're running an amazing campaign a sister show to us make sure you catch that out and today after the main show we always have our after party twitch.tv slash the gallant goblin we're gonna have the whole cast of there there today and we're also gonna be joined by our buddy dc uh, DC Lacerra, who is our producer, our director, uh, doing all the fancy stuff behind the scenes, and we love to kind of hear how he, what he's done, and, and all his background as well. I never really get a chance to talk to him because he's always setting things up before we get started, so I don't really feel like I should chat to him and bother him. So I'd be curious to actually just chat. Uh, so go check us out there. We should be getting that started here real soon. And you can also come join me. This is at twitch.tv slash the gallant goblin. I'm also there playing video games on Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Thursdays at 7 p.m. Eastern. So if you just want to come hang out with me, come chat. We've been having a great time. And oh, we also have some new shows in development that I'm very excited about. So I can't tell you about that yet, but you'll see them on our Twitch channel pretty soon. And finally, I want to let you know that if you enjoyed our little axolotl race last week with Satine, uh, we released a free supplement uh, on our website to play your own axolotl. We call them the Provine in your games of D&D. You can check that out at gallantgoblin.com slash shop. It's a free little supplement you can download and play as a axolotl in your own games. So if there's nothing That's else, amazing. <laughs> yeah, and we have this additional art. We have Satine, the character uh, Sedaria's art, but we also have art for Lake and Oxlottle bartender on there in the supplement. That's really great. There's some NPC stat blocks that we've written up. And if you want to make a playable race, we got you covered there too. So go check that out. I think we out. need to revamp Hamster Dance and have it be Ox Oxlottle Dance. And I'm just, all about like, that. Bring all that back. <laughs> Very much about that. So, with all that said, why don't we jump into tonight's episode of A Song for the Shadows.
<laughs> All right, welcome back. One thing I wanted to start with this week is uh, something that's going to be a little bit of a surprise to my players. I know you all Ooh. love surprises, but behind the scenes, this has been taking us a long time, but we've been wanting to make you all a poster for the uh, spectacular summoning, sensational summoning spectacular, your group, <laughs> uh, which y'all came up with a name, not us. Name. <laughs> so let's, DC, can we see the poster that we put together for the group? Are you kidding? Oh, oh my God! God. <laughs> she is stunning. So cute. Can you see it I there? I love it. Wow. Oh my God. <gasps> wow. so, Awesome. We are in the process of making that a proper poster that we can Aww. get printed up from our shop. Uh, that you can get. We're gonna try to get one for each of you all, like we talked about that's before. That's so cute. That's so cool. So, that's y'all. I love it. I love. It I love lot. my yellow tights. There you go. Yes. I thought you'd enjoy that. <laughs> I just got teary eye. Oh, good. Well, we'll get you. We'll get you one of those you can hang on your wall there, Ness. Oh so, god, that is but, definitely awesome. have to frame that. You know, I love that is all of so you. Cute. So cute. I appreciate y'all going on this journey with me here. I want that. Mm. We'll get you on, Archie. Right Don't worry right. about it. We got you covered. So let's jump back in. I'm going to give you a, a quick summary of our story so far. So if you've maybe missed a few episodes or you just need a little refresher, we're going to kind of go from the beginning and just make sure we're all caught up because this is our penultimate episode. So the Sensational Summoning Spectacular was had booked a gig in the small town of Carter's Crossing at a tavern called The Blooming Cow. Uh, and Fru went out ahead to get everything all set up as she's wont to do. And it was the evening of the festival feast when most people in town are at home with their family celebrating and getting ready for an arduous week of planting. So only the folks who really maybe didn't have a family to go home to or maybe weren't welcome there or for whatever reason weren't with their families, they're the only ones who are really going to show up at the tavern for this thing. So it's set up, you know, how like some bars are open on Christmas for maybe people who don't want to go home with their family. So it's that kind of thing. So it seems like the owner of the Blooming Cow, a fellow known as Fraser Ashbourne, tried to set up a party that would help improve everybody's spirits when he got there you know they had booked acts they had booked you all the sensational summoning spectacular they had an up-and-comer named darius who may who was there to perform and there was apparently a self-help guru known as dr pointress and there was all sorts of banners and posters and things to cheer everybody up but when you arrived the place was abandoned everyone inside was gone the only person that was still there was a bank employee named maude pennington who was a half orc uh, amazing uh, half yeah. orc and she was trapped down i love her so much oh god mm -hmm. um bonnie gordon so uh anyway you found her trapped in a basement that was covered in arcane runes uh maybe those arcane runes are what protected her from whatever happened to everybody else there and so you all discovered that the bar owner fraser uh, ashbourne was deep in debt this is one thing you discovered while you're there and he had some sort of magical wand that seemed to be able to compel people to do things they wouldn't normally do so you kind of sussed out i think that he must have used this wand to get some of them villagers in town to give him money because a lot of his books were especially recently there were a lot of transactions in there of him getting money that didn't seem to make a lot of sense maybe this was money that he was rightfully owed or maybe not you don't really know but when he found the wand it was spent there were no more charges in that wand so he eventually discovered, uh, through the help of a ghost and some squ squeezable rats, that the tavern patrons were actually somehow shunted over to the ethereal plane, and that's where they were. You don't know how it happened or why, but they were there, and when you got there, you found them all in just complete despair, including your friend Fru, uh, who is an Eladrin elf who normally has bright pink skin and bright shining eyes, but now she was pale blue. DC, can we get a look of that art of Fru? if you don't mind for us. And do you want to tell us a little bit about how Fru was then, Ness? As you can uh -huh. see her there. Um, yeah, so like physically. Um, yeah, how she yeah, was, she how was she just um, She was just very distracted, like just trying to look around, trying to, almost defensive, but um, uh, she was just looking for her friend, um, uh, trying to see what happened to her. And, uh, you know, her whole like skin was just like all pale blue. Her hair was white. Uh, instead of petals like coming out of her um, uh, dress, it was more like, um, like, like snow uh, uh, coming out of her dress. It, it, it was a very um, melancholic and, and, and almost like a sad uh, view of Brew. Um, Had anybody seen her like this before? Any of this group? 
No, I no, so. um, I, I don't think so. Uh, she's always in, uh, almost permanently in uh, spring form. Yeah. Um, it's probably the first time that they see her like that. And so I think Orin was the first one to learn that you were able to rescue folks here by cheering them up, by inspiring mm -hmm. them with your heroic bardic hearts. Um, <laughs> but you didn't have a lot of time and you weren't able to save everyone before the shadows got them. Uh, you saw three people taken in particular. Fraser Ashbourne, the owner of the tavern, was gone, presumably taken by the shadows. A new friend of Fru's named Callistra was uh, found when she talked to Fru. Fru found out that she was kicked out of her house after her family caught her stealing money from them to pay off, presumably, her debts to Fraser, And she got claimed by the shadows. And finally, you saw this big burly elf wearing a tank top and a bandana. And he apparently was also claimed by the shadows when he was uh, afraid that he wasn't going to be able to lift anything anymore because he was ethereal and couldn't touch anything. And when he can't lift, there's no point living in life anymore. Mm. And eventually, a shadow portal opened up and out walked Dr. Pointress, the so-called self-help self guru. And he informed you that he was responsible for all this. He had claimed their souls. And uh, he would have claimed more if it wasn't for you meddling kids. So... <laughs> He had, he had, come on, you know, come on through the portal and rescue them if you dare. And you all jumped through without any hesitation at all, found yourself pulled into another realm where you met Sideria, who was a famous singer and bard who was a member of a race called the Provine. And they looked like humanoid axolotls. And you were in this philosopher city known as Castellux. And the Provine were there attempting to add hope and light to the multiverse. And they also had a stable portal to the Shadow Realm, where some very brave Provine would venture into to try to rescue some trapped souls. And Sideria felt the need to go herself, but she was so beloved and needed in the city that she was able, they were able to talk her into finding replacements to go for her and to find heroes. And they managed to find you all and find your strong elf friend who also got shunted in there somehow. So it was the five of you there. And so she talked to you, she tried to help you find that bard within all of you to help you build up joy in your heart so that it would prepare you for what you were gonna face when you go to the Shadow Realm. Because when you get there, you're gonna be overcome with despair and you're gonna need as much hope and light in you, in you as you can get. And uh, you found your hulky, uh, hunky elf friend there with you. Uh, he sounded suspiciously like a certain reformed NWO and six-time WWE world champion. <laughs> um, and he was there with you, and his name was Colton Strong Elf, a uh, creative name that he had. And he seemed to be kind of the impatient sort. And so you went to retrieve the Hope Lantern, which is what you needed to return from the Shadowfell when you were done. And he managed to get there first. He grabbed the lantern and he was kind of sick and tired of all this yap yap and was ready to go get things done himself. And so he took off running toward the portal, which was in the sunken temple. And Fru turned into a trotting camel, which of course is well known to be the fastest animal on four legs <laughs> and chased after Colton. And the rest of you follow the suit as best you could, some faster than others. And now my nose is itchy today. I think it's the margaritas earlier. And you now find yourself looking down into this natural conical room. DC, can we show the, the art for the room that they're in right now, if you don't mind? Um, so you, what you can see are these swirling shadow vortex at the center, the bottom of this conical room. There's little pools that are formed on the cliff sides. Waterfalls cascade down between them. There's wooden bridges that are very damp with water that connect certain platforms. And some of the bridges have collapsed over some over the time. Maybe they weren't very well, main, well maintained. There's two shadows starting to emerge, crawling out of the portal as Colton is making a dash for it down to the middle there. And so we're not going to go into initiative rounds here, but we are going to do some skill challenges to see if you can stop Colton before he jumps through with the lantern and if he even is able to survive these shadows coming out toward him. So, Fru, you were the first person to arrive. So I'm gonna let you go first. You find yourself in the situation. You can ask me whatever questions you need to ask, but tell me what you want to do. Okay. Um, so in this room, you said there were a, lot, a bunch of uh, bridges. Uh, so yes. it has a very specific path that he has to go through uh, to reach uh, the the whirlpool or, or, or the portal, right? 
Yeah, I will say okay. that um, we have the map, and we are going to put this whole adventure up for people to play later on, which will have a whole battle map. And if you are playing with the battle map, you'll have to follow a certain path. But we're going to do Theater of the Mind here tonight. And right. so you don't have to worry about the path too much. I will tell you that it's very slick and damp, and you're running downhill. So uh -oh. if you want to run at full speed, you're going to have to give me a deck saving throw so you don't f slip and fall. Right. Or you can move at half speed and be okay. About or this. you can tell me something else. How Mr. about Druid. this? <laughs> uh, well, I cannot turn into like uh, uh, any animal that will benefit me here, but we do have a certain item that we just got last session. Yeah, that is gonna help me cut through all of those um, uh, bridges, and I'm not gonna be limited by that. And he will. So I am going to bring out my little um, uh, helper. I'm going to say, Horatio, well, actually, Horatio, here, I need you now. And uh, um, I'm kind of like expecting maybe like a uh, kind of like what the possum did <laughs> coming from the sky. But uh, I'll, what you I'll see know, is your little statue of Horatio turns into it was a giant owl was it was it a giant owl or just an owl uh, yeah it's the giant owl, giant owl turns yeah. into this big old owl and surprisingly the owl seems to be wearing almost armor around it it looks like it may not be real substantial armor kind of ethereal armor and it has like a little armor helm and like a little plume on top and it's like it's almost so like a little warrior uh owl giant owl and that's what you see that's so cute and just ready um, to do what you want it to do. Uh, um, Ratio, I need to get to that uh, man as soon as I can. Uh, can you please help me? And uh, I kind of like try to like climb on top of him if I can. Okay, yeah, hop on board. I'm gonna change the music to something a little bit more appropriate for this exciting thing here. All right, there is some exciting or more exciting music. So you hop <laughs> on board, Horatio. And where do you want to go exactly? Uh, uh, can I ask, can, can more people fit on top of a ratio? Uh, I think you could fit one more person. One more person. Uh, now the rest of okay. your, the rest of your party are behind you though. Oh, too far away. Okay. Well, yeah, uh, yeah I'm going to go straight, uh, towards, um, Colton. Okay. And, um, yeah, I'm just going to be yelling, Colton, you cannot, first of all, you cannot go there by yourself. Second of all, that is my lamp. And I'm going to, I'm going to try to go get it. Okay. All right. So I think that's a good action. So we're going to, what's, uh, do you happen to have a giant owl stat block in front of you? Uh, I actually do. Okay. What's the flying speed on a giant I'm owl? I'm prepared. Uh, I let's appreciate see. You, it's Ness. uh 60 flying feet, uh, okay. flying speed. That will let you get right up to Colton. You've had to use your action. So we'll say using your action, your bonus action, your movement will let you call for the owl, I can use. hop on yeah. board. Yeah. And get down there. So. Man, Perfect. Really today. So you are down there ready to act next turn. Uh, the next one, if I remember correctly, up there was Zilthyra. What would you like mm. to do? You are a little bit behind Fru. You see Fru come out of camel form, summon okay. a giant owl, hop on board, and fly down <laughs> to a, a swirling vortex chasing after a Hulk Hogan looking elf. Welcome to D&D. &D. What would you like to do? <laughs> Can I go run towards it? Yeah, now, if you want to run at full speed, you have to give me what's called a dexterity saving throw to make sure that you don't slip and fall on these rocks. So you could run at full speed, but you got to give me a dex saving throw. Otherwise, you can run at half speed and, and be okay, because you're in high heels and you got to be careful. I'll do half speed. Okay, okay I don't know if this is far reach, but can I like, because you know, he has a, uh, a is he's holding the lamp, right? Okay. Yeah, he How is. How does the lamp look half like? Speed. It is an eight-sided kind of Aztec-y looking lamp, and there are it's fairly large. It's like that big if you can kind of see me in the window there. So it's a, it's a substantial lamp, and uh, there's a different color shining out of each of its eight sides. How is he holding it? He's holding it with a handle. There's a handle. Well, actually, he would be holding it more like a football. I mean, this is Colton, so he's kind of got it tucked under one arm to make sure. I was thinking I wanted to shoot an arrow to kind of like knock it out of his hands. Am I being too ambitious? What? You can do what you want. Are you worried okay. about damaging the lantern? Uh, mm -hmm. Go for it if you want to. You can I'll do it. Whatever you want. What do y'all think? Should I do it? Oh, they're not there. One of them's down flying on the thing. That one's are behind you. It's so thorough. You're, it's up to you. What do y'all think I should do? 
Y'all can answer if you want to. Do it. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I'll throw. So I, I walk don't know what she's it. doing. <laughs> I run towards it, and as I'm running, a half speed, of course, I want to fall. And then I lift out my arrow, and I go like shoot it. Um, okay. Where I want to aim. Are you Can I aim for his foot? Actually, I'm not, I don't want to aim the lamp because I think the lamp is important. Of course, it's okay. very important. I want to like knock him off his feet so he slows down so Fru can kind of go catch up to him. So that's one of those things that if you have an ability that allows you to do something specific like that, you can do it. Otherwise, you can just shoot him for damage. Oh. Yeah, there's some things that will have a special ability that like maybe lets you trip them. But unless you have something that allows you to do that mechanically, you pretty much just have to shoot him. But I will let you shoot the lantern if you want to. Wait, okay, hold on. Um, no, I don't want to shoot the lantern. I think that's important. <laughs> or you can um, use all your movement to run up. You can use all your actions to run as close to him as you can is another option. So I know I have Mage Hand. Is that something I can do? Yeah, like, totally. You can yeah, you can use Mage Hand. There are certain things that Mage Hand is able to do. It can, Mage Hand can make a grab at the lantern, possibly. Ooh, am I within 30 Ooh. feet, Theo? You are not. You are within 50 feet. So... <laughs> If you run at full speed and risk slipping, you can get within 20 feet of him if you want to risk running. Do you want to risk running? I think you should go for it. No, uh, you're you're trying to you're trying to lure me into a trap, so I fall down. I into am trying, trying to kill Zilthyra. <laughs> I am trying to make an exciting TV show. Okay. But so just imagine life. Zilthyra in her high heels, running, sliding down this damp, rocky. Uh, banister kind of thing down into this pool go for it Zothar. why don't you why don't you give me a deck saving throw if this is what you want to do you don't have to but just imagine how cinematic it'll be i i guess i guess she likes to live her life on the edge i think she does okay. go ahead roll your die you have your deck saving throw handy do you know what it is i mean i have on the account i don't have an actual one with me right now can i just roll it on top? go ahead and roll your die we'll see what it is grady can come help you point out to where your deck saving throw Ooh, is on the sheet uh, what you i got? got a 21. oh you're fine yeah look at that Ooh. so she knows how to run in heels baby nice. she's ready oh so, yeah i think she just is on her high heels knows exactly what she's doing sliced on these rocks and now you're within 20 feet do you want to cast mage hand yes okay to so go, go grab the to go cast? grab the uh the thingy, so the what lantern I want you, out of his hand. What I want you to do is roll a d20 and add your, uh, just add, uh, let's just say we'll add three to it, I think. What is, oh, Nestor, you can help me with this. What would be his spell casting? What would be her spell casting modifier? Uh, charisma for a bard. So you add your charisma and add your uh, proficiency. So add, what would be six, right? Yeah, go ahead and add six. So okay. go ahead, roll your d20 and add six to it. And I'm going to roll Ooh. to see if it's stronger. It's a than, 10. It's wait, a 10. Well, let me roll for uh, Colton. Oh, wait. Hold on. A Good. 4. Wait. Yeah, 4 plus 6 is 10. Oh, right. yes. That's 10. Right. A 10. Yes. Sir. All right. So, Colton, the, the mage hand, which is ethereal. What, is this, what does the little hand look like, Zilthyra? Um, a hand? Um, well, the hand's like have... holographic, and yeah. uh, I just like... She puts her hand out and she kind of just like imagines it going there and it kind of go, it goes, try to go reach towards the, um, the lamp to kind of just grab it out of his hand. What color is it? Pink. Pink. Okay. It's this pink hand, it, like comes off of you like a glove, right? And flies towards Colton and tries to make a grasp at the lantern and it grabs hold of the lantern and Colton just pulls with all his strength and is able to break the hold of the hand and is still running. So. He's strong. It's going to be a little hard to get it out of his grasp. But that was a very good effort. And you're close for next time. So, Wave, you're Perhaps. up now. What do you want to do, Wave? Ooh, I'm going to run on in carefully, but I will okay. use my, my feline agility. Okay. That lets me move twice my speed. <laughs> so, I'm just hopping along like a little agile kitten. Sounds and good. I'm going to yell out... Um, to Colton to hold on we need to uh, work together and cast calm emotions on him okay is Ooh. there a dex there's a saving throw for that yes it is a charisma save okay all right let's see uh natural 19 on the die oh <sighs> no what is your dc 14 uh, natural 19 right there uh, I'm not gonna try my satine phoenix die 
What was the DC? 14. 14. So he's pretty willful, this one. All right. Mm. It's well, a good try. I love that idea. I know. Oh, well. I think that is okay. about. All right. So you ran. So Fru is now right on top of him. Uh, we'll say Fru, you're five feet away. Oh, uh, So Thyra's 20 feet away from him. And Wave, you ran 15 feet? I ran 30 feet. 30 feet. Okay. So you are 25 feet away from him. Okay. Um, then as a bonus action, I'm going to cast telepathic speech on him, which is what? one of my Ooh. psionic abilities. Okay. All right. Sure. Okay. And I can talk to him telepathically for the next three minutes. <laughs> okay. And that's a bonus action? That's a weird bonus it's action. It's a bonus action. All I right. can't speak to him yet, but it builds the connection. Okay. Fair enough. All right. So, Oren, we're up to you. You are 55 feet away. You oh my goodness! Back to cover your riding. <laughs> He's small too. Let's say, isn't he I'm riding? I'm super um... small. RG, we small. don't have to insult him. Oh, I'm, I'm not sorry. riding. I don't want to be a size queen. No. <laughs> but wasn't I riding on? You're riding Sideria. Sideria's shoulders. Yeah. Were you? Okay, so she's not able to enter this chamber. The only people who are allowed to enter the chamber are those Ooh. who are going to go through the portal. <laughs> so she would have to drop you off at the entrance. So she's there with you. She and just drops right me there. off to school and then, bye, have a good day. She's, She's there with you. a lunchbox. She is right okay. there with you. Okay. What do you want to do? <laughs> um, Don't you see her there beside you? Yes, I see her, okay. but I still want a lunchbox. Um, <laughs> we can discuss that after. I, <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, I'm going to try it. I'm just, I'm gunning for it. I'm like, I got to stop this guy and I'm okay. tiny, but I'm going to try to run as fast as I can to what is your get speed? down there. What is your speed? Oh, Lord, I have no idea. Where <laughs> do right. I find that? Well, go ahead and go ahead. It should be at the top of your uh, character sheet. It should be oh. like 25 or 30 feet. Uh, so is it the things... walking speed? Yeah, walking speed. It's next to proficiency. Speed. Jeremy. I don't mm -hmm. see it. Sorry. It's okay. Um, what, what you have to do is roll your roll a dexterity saving throw to see if you're able to not okay. see it. So one thing we're doing with the stream, by the way, is we are bringing in two players who've never played D and D before, who are RG and Jeremy, and Me. so <laughs> they are. She, her, hers. Oh no! Yes. Oh. So we have two folks who've never played before. You guys RG see and what I rolled? <laughs> no. You no. rolled an eleven. I rolled an eleven. Okay. So I was just gonna say, so uh, you know, to show that you don't have to be an expert in this game to still have a good time. So Jeremy, eleven, your little feet slip out from under you on. Wait, oh, we're not there. Oh, we're further away. You, you no, but can I? Under you. I have and, a do, spell. Do you have? Is it a? Is it a reaction spell? How do I check that? Uh, it'll say like cast as a reaction. What spell is it? Featherfall. Yeah. 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 That's a reaction. That is a reaction. That yeah. is a reaction spell. So you can catch. So uh, all it'll do is make sure that you don't slip and take any damage. So, uh, does Zothyra cast yes. Featherfall? Yes. Okay. I will. So, Yay! So she turns yeah. around, <laughs> casts Featherfall, and so you slip and you start to tumble down this rocky uh, slope, but suddenly Zothyra's magic catches you in this kind of pink cloud, I would say, right? And Ooh, you kind of pretty. hover to the ground, but you are now <laughs> prone on the ground. Um, you only moved five feet forward before you fell. <laughs> Oh, and bless so, his heart. And isn't the ground covered in water? So I'm like yeah. drowning too. No, no, you're not drowning. You're you're on okay. the page. You're on the ground, but you're you still right. so you, can, you can stand up. Well, actually, oh. uh, he fell gracefully. You can you you can use your action to stand up if you want to okay. stand up and get ready for next turn. Um, sorry, an inglorious turn for Oren, I'm afraid. <laughs> or you can do something from the ground if you prefer. I mean, I'm just really far away. He's fifty feet away. Yeah, you're 50 feet away, lying on the ground in a pool of shame. I can cast a spell. <laughs> this is a wonderful, Theo. <laughs> yeah, you Hold can on, still cast a spell. Go. Cast a spell. spell. You can cast a spell. Casting. You know what I'm imagining? That I don't watch Parks and Rec, but you know that part where they were like rolling down the thing? <laughs> the <laughs> dirt hill. The dirt, yeah. Kind of sort I'm of. thinking of Orin doing that. <laughs> Do you have a spell oh, you want to cast? That? I was just gonna ask, or do you have a spell you want to cast, or you want to just use your action to get up and be ready for next turn? I don't think I can. I, mean, I can cast damage, but I don't know if I want to damage Colton. 
What do you guys think? Should we hurt him? Fru is far away. Oh. Selthyra is far away. There's nobody really near you. You've got to make up your own ma mind, my friend. Just it's in the moment. What would, what would your character do? What would Oren do? Would he, would he want to I'm hurt I'm going to cast Zone of Truth. Okay. No, I'm I'm gonna save. I'm gonna because I'm gonna need these, and I only have two slots, so no. Um, okay. You just want to stand yeah. up and be ready for next turn. I think so. Okay. Yeah. That's all right. Good. Guess it's fire. You took a risk, and sometimes it pays off, and sometimes you know you don't roll so good. But sometimes you're ready for you next time. Slip and move five feet. Yep, sometimes you do. <laughs> don't have the the practice in the high heels. All right, Fru, you're up again. What do you want to do? You also have these shadow. Oh, actually, now at this point, you're gonna see those two shadows that are coming up out of the pit, and they are making their way toward uh, Colton, and they are gonna be up on Colton next <gasps> turn. Colton moves further in, and let's see if he slips and falls. Okay. Uh, he does not. Natural 17. I'm rolling rocks today, wow. and so okay. he is moving further down. So. All right, well, a little further away. He is he is bounding down this hill, and he's getting hurt pretty close to the portal. So y'all need to make something happen this turn. How Fru, far did he up. go? Uh, he went thirty feet down, and so Zothira, oh. you're fifty feet away. Fru, so eighty. Uh, oh. You can make an attack of opportunity if you want to, as he moves away out oh. of your grasp. Oh. Do it, Diva. Perfect. I will do that. Because uh, now I'm a little mad that he's not listening. Okay. Uh, so, um, are you trying to hit him? Or are you trying to hit the lantern? What are you trying to hit? I'm trying to hit his feet. So okay. I'm trying. I'm trying to hit him. Okay. Um, so I rolled a unnatural twenty, a dirty twenty. Yeah, that'll do it. So, Go ahead and roll damage. Yeah. Which I do not have. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's um, see. Zothara, you're on deck. So be thinking okay. about what you want to do. Okay, so, and I'm, I'm I'm 50 feet away, right? Yeah, you're 50 feet away now. Okay, I'm gonna do I it. Got, I got a seven uh, damage. Seven uh, damage, pier all right. Piercing damage. So that was my opportunity of attack, right? Yeah, that's your opportunity attack. So now okay. it's your proper turn. How far is he from the portal, like roughly? He's about 20 feet from the portal now. Uh, okay. He'll be there uh, next turn. Maybe I should have done that earlier, okay. Here's what I'm going to do. I am going to uh, use my cantrip. Uh, it's called Thorn Whip. Okay. Um, and what that does is that if I hit him, I can pull him 15 feet closer to me. Perfect. Yes. Go ahead. Uh, Lovely. So, yes. Uh, I think Watch. that's a, yeah, melee spell attack. OK, and it has a range of 30 feet. So great. Oh, so I'm so going to do clutch. that. OK. 17, does that hit? That's a hit. That Yay! is a hit! Nice! Yay! Okay. So how far did it pull him back towards you? Uh, I believe it's 15. Let me see, let me see. Oh, no, it's just 10 feet closer. 10 feet closer, okay. Well, that's... Yeah, still good, still good. Yeah, that is Try excellent. To. All yeah. right. Uh, and he takes uh, four piercing damage. All right, very good. Mm -hmm. That's super clutch. And four points of damage, okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, do you still have your movement? Um, and your owl's movement, Horatio's movement. How, how, how do you say it? Horatio. 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 <laughs> Whatever. Uh, <laughs> um, yeah. So I'm. Uh, we're gonna move closer to him, and uh, I believe I'm not sure, but I believe the Horatio has his oh, uh, its own turn. Uh, yeah, can if I? You, if you want to, yeah, do something. Yeah. Can uh, Can I try to grapple him? With Rashi. Yes. Oh, sure, go for it. All right. Uh, let's see. Make an attack roll. He has a plus three to hit. Oh, no, I don't think that's going to hit. Um, 11. No. Oh. Yes. No. Good try. It's out of your way. It's a good try. <laughs> All right. All right. Oh, interesting. I, uh, I just had a, a notification pop up on my screen that says uh, your uh, Ravenloft D and D book has shipped and it's supposed to arrive tomorrow, so that's exciting. Woo! All nice. right. So, uh, Zothyra, you are uh, now forty feet away as Fru's Thorn Whip has pulled Colton closer to you. And Colton looks back and says, "What are you doing? I'm trying to get to the portal, brother." 
Not by yourself, uh, br brother. <laughs> uh, wait for us. Let's plan this out. All right, so Tyro, what you got? Okay, so like, I know this failed last time, but maybe second time's the charm. I know it's third time, but let's do it again. Um, can I like persuade him into dropping it, the the thing, or like giving it to Fru? What do you the, say? Um, um, uh, uh, Colton, this, you're such a strong man. Can you please help us and drop the lantern? Oh, so strong. And give it to Fru, please. All right, go ahead and make a persuasion check. And I will say, y'all should check out some of the chat going on over there on Twitch. I think Mr. Glenn's trying to give y'all some ideas too. So you might all want to look at that. He's giving you some Ooh. Hints. She got a 22, Your Honor. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So Colton turns around and seems to be a little bit flustered, a little bit taking a blush a back, on his cheeks. A little blush. <laughs> and kind of stops and just looks at you. And he, he doesn't look like he's necessarily running anymore toward the portal. He's maybe stopping to, to hear what you have to say or maybe just to talk to you a little bit more. So... Very good, Zilthar. Do you want to move up a little closer? Yes. Okay. Can you explain to me what what does like what are what does charisma entail? Like charisma, what would that entail? Charisma is your personality. It is your persuasion. It is your even in some some people would say it's like your looks. How how effective you are in communication. Um, this you know the same thing charisma is in, in real life. How much influence mm -hmm. you have other over other people with your sheer force of personality. Okay, so I walk towards. Um, okay. You want to move half speed so you don't slip and fall? Yeah, I don't want to test my luck anymore. Okay, so you I'm get good. a little closer there. You're now 25 okay. feet away. All right, and that is your turn, I think. Oh, because this persuasion was my move, huh? Or persuasion was your action, yeah. Oh, my action, my bad. But it, okay. you successfully managed to make him stop running, so that is exactly what y'all needed to do. Okay, work. And so, yeah, you are in great shape there. Good job. Wave, Stunning. you're up. All right. Um, what are the shadows doing? The shadows are crawling towards Colton. I'm going to yell out to Colton um, that watch out for the shadows. Sorry, I'm okay. trying to do like three different things at once. Yeah, no, I know. Um, and then I am going to use firebolt on the shadows. Ooh. Okay. And uh, go ahead and roll for that. That is a nine. A nine. To no it hits one of the waterfalls and turns into steam. Mm. Do you want okay. to move closer? Oh, I think so. um, yeah, sorry. I was going to um, use up, go half movement. Half movement. So that's 15 feet? Mm hmm. Okay. Um, you... And then I'll just use sorcery points to. Do I, is that a bonus action? To do what? Is it my sorcery points? No, you can just add yeah. it to certain spells if you need to for certain things. Okay, yeah, All and right. then I'll do that. Good job. Oren, you are, are far back. You're up on your feet, though. <laughs> okay. Uh, you see that Colton has stopped, and the shadows are crawling toward him. What does Oren do? Um, Oren needs to get closer, I believe. How far away am I from Colton right now? You are 70 now? feet away right now. Yeah, it's there's not much I can do. Um, other than shoot my short bow. And I, I, you know what? I want to learn how to defeat shadows. That's, that's give really me, what my concern is. Give me an so, arcana check. It's a free action. Um, actually, I'd like to cast true strike against the, one of the shadows. Well, give me, give me an arcana check first. Arcana check first. Yeah, just uh, add your arcana bonus, which is on that long well, list of skills. I got a five. A five? You yeah, don't know much about shadows, but you do know that, yeah, they're, they're, they're scary. not everything may be effective against them. So uh, you mm -hmm. want to tr cast True Strike? Yeah. Okay, remind me, remind me what the text of True Strike says. The True Strike says you point a finger at a target in range or magic dance, you grants you brief insight into your target's defenses. You gain advantage on your first attack, attack against the target, um, okay. provided that the spell hasn't ended. 
Okay, so you go ahead and you cast that as a concentration spell, I think. Mm -hmm. And you're concentrating. So the next time you do make an attack against one of the shadows, you'll be able to roll twice and take the larger number. Take okay. the better result. So, okay, so that's your action. Do you want to move closer? Yes. Do you want to run or do you want to walk carefully? He's a little... He's a little... Uh... Gun shy at this point? Yeah, he's a little <laughs> timid now, having <laughs> slipped and right. uh, almost fallen. Okay, so you move 15 feet. So okay. that's okay. So you're 55 feet away. And now uh, it's Colton's turn. And Colton turns towards Althyra and says, Do you want to do this together, brother? He calls everybody brother. <laughs> Should we go on there and do this together? Looking at Zelthyra. And he's just there, wide-eyed, grin on his face, holding the lantern and asking you that. Do you want to respond now? Or do you want to think about it and do it on your turn? I'm going to think about it. Okay, so he's just there looking at you. The shadows uh, crawl up to him, though, and you see that they are on top of him, and they lash out at Colton. Uh, he manages to pull his leg away from one, but the other one gets him. And you see bits of skin on his leg start to decay and fall off. No. And he's like, Arr! Arr! Nar. And he's starting to get hurt. So those shadows are on him. Fru, you're up. We have to move quickly now because we only have 10 minutes left. Right. Um, I will uh, cast Cure Wounds on Colton. Okay. And be like, uh, uh, friend, yes, let's do this together. Um, uh, let's take care of this first. And uh, I'm just going to heal him. Okay. So you cast some magical, put some, you touch him and magical light passes through him. And you see those wounds on his leg heal up. How much do you heal him for? Nine. Oh, okay. So his his whole leg, uh, where it had decayed, reforms, and he is fine again. Anything else you want to do in your turn, or is that it? You're there standing next, um, to, next to each other. Uh, right. Oh, no, you're 25 I... feet away. Do you want to run up to him? 25 feet away. Uh... Uh, yeah, I'll I'll just like fly uh, with with the giant owl, and I'm gonna try like put myself in between uh, as much as I can between him and the the shadows. Okay, very good. All right, and so that's I heal him. Okay, so maybe I'm just kind of lost, or let's say my in my right. character, I was in the moment, I was just like, oh, I'm so focused, but like the shadows are attacking him now. The shadows are attacking him now. Yeah. So we already got the lantern. No, he's still holding the lantern, but he's not running anymore. He's ready to work together with you. Fru is right there beside him. So now the shadows are your problem. You just need to get rid of them, and then maybe you can solve the rest of this. Okay, okay. I got this. Um, I haven't thought so about that. Give me, give me an Arcana check. Go ahead and roll a d20. This is mm -hmm. not going to take your action or anything. It's just She's a kind of a bimbo. <laughs> she doesn't know much. Go ahead and roll. It's not going to hurt anything. Okay. Lucky ahead, rolls, just... huh? Lucky rolls. Yeah, go ahead and roll it. Oh! <gasps> Wait, I'm hold left. It's I can't see her. I can't see her. <laughs> <gasps> I got a 19. Okay. Yes! So, wow. so Thyra has spent some time in the Underdark. So Thyra grew up in the oh, land so of true. shadows in a lot of ways. And so that's she's true. maybe more familiar with shadow magic than other, anybody else, even though she doesn't have a big background in the arcane, yes. just a little bit with her bardic She has knowledge. plus zero. So <laughs> you would know these these are a certain kind of wraith, and they're not like any oh. other wraiths you necessarily, most people have ever seen. These wraiths uh, can't be hurt by arrows or swords or anything like that, but they can be hurt by radiant light. They can be hurt by hope song kind of, it's kind of like a care bear situation in some ways <laughs> so yeah maybe song you don't know but it's these are after despair sort of like dementors in a way and so okay what's a wraith a wraith is sort of like a, it's like a ghost like a shadowy ghost okay work um i love you Archie. <laughs> um okay okay i think i got so okay i want to try um what was that once I saw something? Uh, I like this okay. music. So I I'm going to try to do, can I do Dissident Whispers against the shadows? That would kind of just let you let them hear things, kind of hear. But it takes damage too. Oh, wait, hold on. 
It says that y'all, it needs to make a wisdom saving. Oh wait, no, they don't. Do they do stuff like that? Maybe. Like if you have anything saving. that, uh, anything that causes, or you could, anything that causes happiness, anything that causes light, anything that causes joy. Doesn't necessarily have to be one of your abilities on your sheet. This maybe there's something Zelthira could do that would repel these monsters of despair. How could Zelthira maybe express happiness, express optimism and joy? Can she sing? She can sing. Oh no. Hey! <clears throat> I don't know. What do I do? You go ahead and sing. Um um uh huh. <gasps> How much time do we have? No, I'm just kidding. Um, <laughs> We're running low. We have four minutes left. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, how, how, I don't know why this is the first song that came to my mind. How appropriate because, you know, it's light. But basically, she like taps into her inner Beyonce and she just is like, I can see you hate low. And that's it. <laughs> Very good. And within the time limit Twitch allows, go ahead and roll a performance check. So Ooh, roll she got a plus seven. Okay. Eight. Okay, hold on. Oh, <laughs> and 11. Oh, and no. 11. So let me roll some saves here. Okay. Okay. They did not roll so good either. Okay, so good. your song, even though maybe you, you kind of pull it at the last minute and so it's not the best performance you've ever given, <laughs> seems to like almost hurt them like a, a loud piercing sound would to anybody else. Or everybody else thinks that you know, it's a, it's a good song. They It's like repellent to them. And they just shriek and turn around and fly back into the portal. Ah, <laughs> Lovely. Yay! So, uh, or, uh, stop this battle music and go back to I love it. moody music. And yeah, we got a few minutes left. You're here with Colton. What do you want to do? Colton, are you all right? I'm all right. There's nothing's gonna stop these 24 inch elven pythons. Are we ready to go in that portal together? I think we need to. Seems for this like now? they're trying to reach out for us already. We've been waiting long enough. Together is the only way to do it. That's what I heard from uh, uh, Sideria. See that, Sideria. And Colton says, I think this lantern isn't meant for me, though. And he walks up to Zelthira and hands the lantern to Zelthira Aww. and says, I think this is better in your hands, sister. I it. And I was like, oh, I, okay. I got it. Gotta catch her. Gotta catch her. I gotta catch her. And Thank you see, you. you see Sideria up on the entrance and she says, I think you're ready. I think you've got this. Just remember, keep hope in your heart. Keep joy close to your heart and hold on to it because they will try to strip it away from you. Remember that when you go through. Be safe and come home. Thank you. We will do our best. And she says, I know you will. And she closes the doors. Guys, do you think we should go jump inside there now? I think so. I'm gonna reach out and grab whoever's on my left, and whoever's on the right, grab their hands. Let's Wizard of Oz this, guys. I'm down there by <laughs> now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Or, or just, made it down. Still on top. Or do you have do you have anything that you can inspire everybody with before they jump in? Who? Does um, Orin have something that he wants to say? I have yes. a little song I can sing. Ooh. Oh. Yes, yeah. Okay, do it. Do it, do it, do it, do it. This is a little song. Yeah. It's an original. So I start singing to inspire you, thinking of happy thoughts, right? I sing, do drops on daisies, the butt on my puppy, <laughs> sunshine and apples and my sippy cuppy, traveling <laughs> on shoulders and quarters with wings. <laughs> These are the things that make my heart sing. Ooh. <laughs> Yay. Yay. Wow. This is a, I think this is the first time I've 
or maybe the second time, I don't remember. But uh, one thing that we do on Gallant Goblin shows is that you can earn what in d and is called inspiration. We call it Goblin Gold. <laughs> I may have given one to Fru, I think, a couple episodes ago. Did I, Nestor? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. I think Jeremy has earned a Goblin Gold. So yeah. what that means is, Yay! I'll tell you later, but on a future thing, if you want to roll twice and take the better one, you can basically get a reroll <laughs> on something that's very important. All right. How, what do y'all do now? You have a song in your heart. I'm just very happy that I'm doing this with you guys. I could have not imagined anybody else uh, that will go with uh, to the shadows with me to save our friends. Oh, I can see your hair getting pink again. Aww. A little Aww. bit. Good You're getting back to normal. Bit. Yeah, she, she starts shining a little bit and like the snow has stopped like coming out of their, uh, their uh, dress and uh, um, she, she slowly, but she's getting there. Wait, what happened to Harati, Horatio? Oh, oh yeah, still Horatio's there with there. you. You have to grab onto uh, his okay. wing, his feather. His feather. <laughs> okay. Okay. All well, right. Let's go. So, uh, so Zilthira and Wave and Oren and Fru and Horatio and Colton. Yeah, all, Colton. All grab hands and paws and talons and leap down into the swirling portal of shadow. And we'll see you next week, everybody. Yay! Thank ah! you all for joining oh, us that this song, week. Oh, that song, Jeremy. Changing back wow. to now. <laughs> Good job. Um, nice job. Don't oh, forget to check out thebardbook.com. Uh, the Kickstarter ends on Saturday, so I won't see you before then unless you come and check me out at the Gallant Goblin over on YouTube where we have a lot of videos coming out this week. Um, so go check out thebarboat.com. Go back it while you still can. The best time to get the best price, all the wormwood dice trays and dice vaults and sirenscape and all sorts of amazing stuff. Uh, oh, there's some amazing like minis that you got to check out. Go check it out today. Check out the Mystery Melody on Wednesday. Thank you again to Satine and DC and Michelle and Ashley, uh, Diana, uh, so many people, Grady, everybody, thank you so much. Uh, we're about to go live with our after party over at the twitch.tv slash the gallant goblin and we're gonna be joined by DC Lasser who is our director nice. producer. Wow, we're Nestor. And <laughs> now we're ready to go. And Jack yeah, is up. We're gonna go live with that in just a second. So we'll see you over there in a minute. And until then, have a fantastic week. Stay safe, have fun, love each other, and we'll see you next time. Goodbye, Bye. Gorge. <laughs>